I was scrolling through my comments the other day, and I saw someone ask, could you do a tutorial for that one 3D movement? And I was like, do you mean this camera movement that I used in my edit? And the one I used for my YouTube video? Go check it out by the way. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? So today, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my 3D camera movement. I will try my best to explain it, but I am not a pro at it or anything. This is just the way that I do it. Hopefully, this tutorial helps you, and let's dive right in. Okay guys, first things first, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and add your text. So go to the text like icon, go ahead and type your text. Then the next thing you guys want to do is select all your clips and align it. So make sure it's straight like this. Then you guys can change the scale of your text however you would like. So I'll just change mine to 40, I guess. Or I'll change it to 44 actually. 45. Keep it even. Make sure to align it again. I mean, you don't really need to align it. I just like to align it because it helps me be more organized, but you do you. So then after you do that, you want to go ahead and go to new then go to camera and here you see a bunch of settings really like this is like i don't know how to explain it, like a straight view like it just gives a different view like the higher it is i usually like it for text at least like a lower like 50 like 35 20 but i just keep mine as custom and i use these settings but you guys can use whatever you guys would like so if you want to copy my settings go ahead so after, so add your camera, then you wanna go ahead. And if you don't see your text and you're wondering why you don't see your text, that's probably because if you go right here, the, like the camera that, you, like the main camera is as front. And to actually see the text, you wanna go ahead and use active camera one. And then you will be able to see your text. Then what you guys wanna do is you wanna go ahead and you wanna go to new, so then what you guys want to do is go to new, go to no object and create a no object. Then you guys want to go ahead and you see this little like spiral, click it and drag it to the null. And then you want to change the null into a 3D layer by clicking this little cube like this. And then just for organizing purposes, I'm going to change the color of my text to yellow because the null has the same color as uh, the text so but you don't, you don't have to it's just my preference then you guys want to go ahead and you can this will help you a lot but you can add a proportional grid like this yours was pro will probably be like green or something mine is purple though it doesn't really matter so and for this you guys can easily change like not change but like put the position more like correct i guess that's how you you call it so oh sorry guys i forgot to tell you but make sure that your text is 3d so click on the cube and then after you use the grid to ch to put the your text on however place you would like so i'll do that right now Now, you might be wondering, Spoo, this looks trash. What are you doing? Well, that's because you need to go and you need to click on where we click the camera and go to custom view. Right here, it will, this will, so the, this little, like, cube is the camera. And to make the camera movement, what you want to do is you want to select your text and bring it up. What it will look like is the text will be really like close to the camera I, like you can't even see it because it's out of the camera actually and that's good that's what you want it to do you want it to be very far away if your clips are close then it won't really look good like so try to keep your clips far away like maybe this much and it will look really good so I'll, I'll show you right now how to do it 
you want to keep it like really kind of far away and if you can't see it just zoom out it won't really matter okay, you can even make it farther away too like like that and then it should look like this you see how it's far away that's good the next thing you guys can do is you can also change the rotation of the clip so like for this text over here i'm gonna have to zoom out but you guys can go click r and change the y x and the z rotation but i usually just change these two rotations like so so right here then for this one So for this one, I'll, I'll change the Z rotation. And there you have it. So now to actually start the 3D movement, because there's so many steps to start, but now we're actually going to start the 3D movement. So what you guys want to do is you want to go to your null, go to positions, or sorry position and you want and you'll see these and you want to you see how the zero it it's like the Z position and it changes how close or far away it is so I'm gonna zoom out all the way so I can see the please and I'm gonna put the please in the middle so like this wait sorry guys I forgot one thing before I put it in the middle what you guys need should do is you should create a bunch of no clips because for every movement you need to have you need to have a, a no clip not movement like for every text you should have a no clip or a no layer so and you might be one like it might not work for you like the other layers if you move it like you see how it's not moving and that's because you need to pair it so instead of going using the camera you pair it to the other null, like so. And you keep doing it to the other ones, like this. And it should work now. Yeah, see? So now we can actually work on the thing. So we can zoom out now. And make sure it's kind of close to the, what's it called, the, the, the camera. And then you wanna go and move to the next uh, word. So my next word is like. And then go to the next uh, null, create a position like, and what, so it looks good. What you guys can do is don't keep the keyframe right on top of the other or like forward. forward. Because what will happen is there will be movement right here and there will be dead space where it has no movement and that makes your clip not smooth at all that is one huge mistake that I used to do in my edits and it would not look good after I fixed that it became much smoother so make sure it's just a little bit like into the keyframes and so we can go to the next word And you guys just want to repeat this process the whole time. And just one tip for you guys, the f like the longer the keyframes are, the better it will look. So, or the more smoother, so So try to make the keyframes kind of long. Actually, you know what? You can just put the keyframe on in the front because if you put like a keyframe on top of each other, it's not really gonna be dead space. So you can just put it, keep it like this. Next thing you guys can do is you can go and change the rotation because some of your clips or some of your texts will have rotation and it will look weird 
if it just there is like position so you should also keyframes do keyframes for that so I'll do keyframes for mine right now and you might have to change your your position so that's why it's good to do it right now So now guys, after you are done with this, you wanna go ahead and do the graphs for this. So what you guys wanna do is select all your graphs and if you have the flow plugin, you can just copy my graph right here and apply it and it should look something like this. And actually, I was right in in the first place. It, it will look better if it's a bit forward. Also, guys, one thing I forgot to mention. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting things. But make sure the positions for your for your clips are like. Make sure if you go. Make sure you select it and go to separate dimensions. And that's also cause it will look smoother and also cause if you go to add your graphs, see, you won't be able to move it. So you need what you need to do is you need to separate dimensions and then you'll be able to move it as you can see. And then you can just do this graph right here. But I would just recommend you get the flow plugin cause it's like much easier. And it, like it saves so much time. And I'm not sponsored by it or anything. I just think it's really good. And there you have it. And if you guys don't want it like the words in the back, you guys can just move it. Like, like only make it so you can see it at a certain point. I don't usually do that though and also you guys can do is if you do decide to do that is you can add text animations like a uh, fade in or a zoom in or a pop up or anything you would like it's your preference and this is also just for a, a black background you guys can also change it to a white background and add a shadow I personally like using the white background because it gives much contrast so you can add a drop shadow to your text and it will look like, I would say it will look much better. Cause you can actually see the text going, like zooming in. So there you have it guys, this is how you do my 3D movement for text. You know, since I'm feeling nice today, <laughs> just kidding, but I will also teach you guys how to do the 3D movement with an image and not a text. So for a 3D movement with an image, what you guys want to do is the same steps. Go to camera, you can use the same camera as the text, it doesn't really matter, click OK. Then go ahead and add a null. And you want to add a couple. Just like, I'll just add three. And make sure you pair it. And add 3D movement. Then you can go ahead and add your clip. 
So the image that I will be using is the same one that I used for the intro of this video, which is just the my comments. So go ahead and click the little cube to make it a 3D and you want to go ahead and go to position and also the rotation and click the stopwatches to make the keyframes. Then what you guys want to do is just like the text, you want to zoom in to whatever you want to do, whatever part you want to use of the video, like whatever part you want to show, I guess. So I'll just use this one, for example. I'll change the rotation. And then I'll go forward a little bit, then go to the next node, sorry, don't go for a little bit, add the same things. And you can do the same. Again, it's literally the same thing for all the clips. All, it's, it's really basic, really. People just overcomplicate it too much, but it's really easy then you guys wanna select all your keyframes if you have position separate dimensions if you're not using the f the the flow plugin I'm just gonna do it cuz why why not just to show you guys then you want to copy this graph and it's just like that you you did it you see how smooth it is? That's how you you do it. See, really smooth, simple and easy. You know, don't overcomplicate it too much. And you guys can also do whatever you want really. I, this is just a basic zoom in, go to the right, and go to the left. Really basic, but you guys can add rotation, whatever, whatever you would like really. It's all preference. So Thank you guys. I hope this tutorial really helped you. As I said in the beginning, I am not a pro at this. There are way better people that are better than me, but this is the way that I do it. So if you like it, I'm glad. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.